Now, when this Mayan calendar gets to 2012, guys, I am here to tell you on the word of the Lord right now, the Holy Spirit is moving me. I am literally overwhelmed this very moment with the Holy Spirit. I will tell you on the authority of the God himself, when 2012 gets here, the beast and the incubation period for this monster will have reached fruition. And the gestation period for the beast will be here, and the beast is going to be unleashed upon this earth. So, what do you do? Turn to Jesus Christ, okay? Give your life to Jesus. Admit that you are the problem. I'm going to ask Dana to zoom out for a second, and I'm going to show you something I showed you in the last video. Am I in the, am I in the screen, Dana? Guys, Jesus was crucified between two guys, okay? He was reaching out to one side and reaching out to the other side, making peace between the two halves. That is exactly what Ephesians 2 says. It says, He himself is our peace, taking the two men and making one new man, destroying the wall of hostility between the two, reconciling both to God in one body to present them holy and blameless in his sight. Guys, when this is your condition, you cannot beat the flesh. You can't live a life that's right. You just can't do it. But you can turn to Jesus and watch this. I'm going to show you what he does. If this is you, all you have to do is put a cross right in the middle here, reaching out to both sides and making the two halves one. And you are saved by grace. Through faith, by grace, confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master, inviting to take over your life, and confess and believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead and through faith, by grace, you are saved. I guarantee it. Um, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to show you guys, we're going to play like a Rorschach test. We're going to do an ink blotter test. There's, there's the face of an alien, guys. Should be pretty easy. Dan, I'll if you zoom out a little bit, so I'll make it a little smaller. Okay, here's the alien's whole head right here. Here's an eye right here. Here's an eye. Here's the mouth, and here's the chin. Okay, why am I showing you this? Let me, let me leave him right there for just a second, and I'm going to show you the reason why you're seeing that particular guy, if I can find it. There we go. That's the Journey CDs, yeah, CD, guys. <laughs> so what's with the Journey CD having an alien on their CD? Wow, that sure looks a lot like the Mayan calendar. And on the head of this guy, it says Revelation. How about that? This looks like they know what's going on. Now I'm going to show you another one. This is the Grateful Dead image of the Grateful Dead skull, and I want to just kind of point out the parts. I lost my pointer, but I'll go ahead and point. Here we go. Okay, so here's the eye, and here's the eye, and it comes down and has a look like the teeth. But look on the outside. There's this perfect circle that goes around the skull. There's this outer ring. Let's let's take a look again. Whoa. Let's look at the Mayan calendar. I mean, let me put up the bigger one because it's a little easier to see. Wow, let's check that out. So what, there's the eye, there's the eye coming down. You know, you got your mouth and your chin here and you got this perfect circle and an outer ring. Whoa, now check out the Grateful Dead. Isn't that an interesting name, the Grateful Dead? Watch this, half the skull is blue Half is red, and there's a dividing line of lightning, like electricity, down the center. Wouldn't that be a perfect name if you were like fallen angel hybrids? The Grateful Dead. I'm sure that when they showed up from the sky, the, the gods, the fallen angels, when they showed up, they, they, were, they were gods. And they were probably welcomed, and they showed us how to do all this cool stuff. And we were probably really grateful, but when they bred with us, they bred death into the human race. Their seed mixed with our seed guaranteed us everlasting death. Now, I'm going to show you guys some more skulls that are kind of the same. There's just another Grateful Dead skull. I think this one's kind of interesting. Same thing, it's got the little eyes, the slits down, and you know, the little skull, the big skull, the outer ring. Look what's in the middle of the skull. And eye. Now watch this. Isn't that interesting? It's all one big eye. And that's the people. 
Oh, kind of like the all-seeing eye. If you've seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to refresh them here in just a minute. Okay, so here you have one big eye with the skull in the middle. It looks like the Mayan calendar in the middle again. It's another representation of the same thing. Now I'm going to drop these. Here you go, guys. This one I, is one of my personal favorites. Here's the skull. There's the eye, and there's the eye. There's the top of the head right here. Now here's the outer ring right here going around it. Well, guys, this is the G20. <laughs> Those are the world leaders, everybody. They are the puppets of the collective consciousness of the devil, which is right here. So the human being is a collective consciousness of the devil, which is an alien, a super intelligence. Here it is right here. There's the G20, guys, the world leaders, standing in front of a curtain that's got their boss as on the backdrop. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to show you guys something real quick, and I'm going to let Dano just keep it running. I'm going to step in front of the camera, and I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to show you guys the way the Lord lets me see things so you can understand the spiritual gift I have. Watch this. I'm going to show you what you're looking at. You're looking at the head of an Egyptian soldier. This is where the eyes are right in here. Okay? This is his helmet right here. Okay? These are the flaps coming down the side of his helmet. And this is his nose. Okay. Can you see the Egyptian soldier right there? Okay, Dan, zoom in. It's the Federal Express logo, guys. But it's some big mighty man holding a box over his head. But what it really is, it's an Egyptian soldier. Okay, I'm going to cut for a minute. I'm going to set up Akhenaten and Nefertiti real quick, and we're going to review it, and then we're going to close this up. Okay.